In a dimly lit cabin, Athena chats with friends, sharing memes and discussing the manor and an upcoming hunt. Meanwhile, a stewardess offers food to a man who rejects caviar, listing gourmet preferences. Unfazed, she tries to respond, but he interrupts with a snarky remark, insisting on champagne. As the stewardess goes for champagne, a disheveled man startles everyone. The man with champagne notes someone is awake. An older doctor rises, trying to calm the man but unexpectedly stabs him. The attacked man fights back, causing chaos. Athena enters, intervenes with her shoe, and casually remarks on the absence of sentimentality in war. The doctor takes charge, dragging the injured man to another playing compartment. The wounded man calls for help, but the blonde woman he turns to is unconscious. Later, she struggles to free herself and spots another woman making a compass. After brief acknowledgement, the second woman walks away. Meanwhile, a man passes by, leading the blonde woman to a field with a crate. Despite warnings, he opens it to find a pig, only to discover a rat filled with weapons upon closer inspection. In the field, chaos ensues as the blonde woman discovers keys, freeing captives. Gunfire erupts, hitting her despite thinking she dodged it. A retaliatory shot leads to more deaths. Survivors hide, and a woman falls into a ditch, impaled but alive. Fleeing, a man steps on a landmine, causing an explosion. Amidst chaos, a man reaches a fence with others. They leap over, leaving the crate opener behind, shot with a spear and meeting his demise moments later. In Conway, Arkansas, a gas station with a flickering neon sign witnesses an intrusion by three desperate individuals, led by a man in a blue shirt. Declaring their purpose, Blue Shirt demands to know their location. The frightened owners reveal it's Arkansas. Blue Shirt insists on calling the police, but as the woman reaches for a cookie, the couple undergoes an eerie transformation, donning gas masks and deploying a smoke grenade, plunging the room into chaos. Blue Shirt reaches for his weapon, but is swiftly eliminated. The woman chokes the other intruder with a grenade. Clearing the smoke, they efficiently dispose of the bodies. Outside, the woman notices Blue Shirt's wedding ring, stirring her conscience, but her husband dismisses it. Their conversation shifts to racism, and a radio call confirms their successful elimination. Another target approaches, and they prepare for her arrival. Crystal enters the gas station and senses danger. During a casual transaction, she attacks, seizing a hidden shotgun. Swiftly defeating the man and woman, she stands alone in triumph. Surveying the desolation, she gathers supplies and slips away unnoticed. Investigating a truck, she discovers Croatian plates concealed under fake ones, uncovering a chilling secret. Crystal, sharpening her instincts, discovers a bomb rig to the truck. Listening to radio chatter, she seizes the device, hides in bushes, and see a recon drone. A mysterious man emerges, destroying the drone. Crystal warns him of the rig trap, revealing their location. Moving to train tracks, she shares a bizarre theory with the man. Skeptical, she boards a train just in time, finding immigrants inside. The man claims they're actors, but Crystal remains unconvinced. The train halts, and military police swarm the compartments. Forced to surrender, Crystal, the man, and immigrants are frisked by stern officers. The man attempts to expose the refugees as crisis actors, but an English-speaking immigrant reveals his deceit. Panic ensues as the man, exposed, retaliates by planting a grenade, causing an explosion on the train. In a desolate landscape, Crystal finds herself in the back of a truck, heading to an unknown destination. The reality sinks in as the truck stops, and she arrives at a refugee camp. Confused and desperate, Crystal faces stern questioning and guesses her location, Croatia. Frustrated, she implores contact with the American embassy, but they bring in another hunted man, Don. They share theories while eating in the camp kitchen. An official arrives to pick them up, and during the ride, Don reveals every detail to the official. Suspecting something, Crystal knocks the official unconscious and discovers a gun. To her shock, she finds their former companion's lifeless body in the trunk. A map hints they might be the last survivors. Ignoring Don's plea to escape, Crystal, armed with a map, reveals a revenge-driven plan. They plot their next move to hunt down those targeting them. Meanwhile, at the bunker, pursuers discuss political correctness, oblivious to the threat. Athena's orders are ignored, and one hunter ventures out. Using a distraction with a pig, Crystal eliminates a threat. Back at the bunker, a noise startles them. The soldier takes charge, but tension rises. Don drops a pig inside, causing panic and upset among the group. Crystal takes charge, swiftly killing one man and firing at others. 
she incapacitates the soldier, stabs the woman, and engages in a struggle over a rifle, managing to find a stray bullet to shoot another man. Confronting the sniper, she eliminates the last threat. Thinking she has dealt with everyone, she's surprised when the soldier tackles her. A fierce fight ensues, and using a pipe from the ceiling, Crystal beats him mercilessly but refrains from delivering a fatal blow. The wounded woman insults Crystal, infuriating her to the point of picking up a gun, intending to end the woman's life. Don arrives with a weapon, and Crystal instructs him to question the woman about their motives. The woman provides a foolish answer, and eager to kill her, Crystal is stopped by Don. He argues sparing her is the right thing to do as she's a woman, challenging the notion of mercy based on gender. When the woman admits she wouldn't spare Crystal, Crystal shoots her. Don pleads with Crystal not to continue down that path. Athena's voice emerges on the radio, asking Don about Crystal. Holding a gun on Don, despite Don's pleas and warnings, Crystal shoots him and informs Athena he's dead. Crystal converses with the wounded soldier to extract information about Athena's whereabouts. Despite his resilience, he eventually discloses Athena's hiding place. Determined, Crystal kills him, vowing not to give up her pursuit of Athena. In a flashback from a year ago, Athena's office reveals tension as representatives discuss a mysterious text message about a hot. Despite Athena dismissing it as a joke, concern grows, prompting suggestions for her to step down. Unfazed, Athena demands a list of those spreading the conspiracy. Eight months earlier, a clandestine group selects participants for the ominous hunt, with Athena designating Crystal as her arch-nemesis. In the present, Crystal approaches a foreboding manner, and Athena communicates through an intercom, issuing an ultimatum for Crystal to surrender her weapon or face hidden explosives. Beethoven's melody plays as Crystal cautiously enters the mansion, discovering unsettling portraits. Athena, cooking in the kitchen, remains cryptic about Dawn. Their heated conversation reveals mutual ignorance. Crystal accuses Athena of orchestrating a misguided hunt, targeting the wrong person with the same surname. Realizing the error, Crystal initiates a brutal confrontation with a knife. The battle unfolds with equal strength, moving upstairs. Athena grabs a shotgun, and a fierce struggle ensues. Crystal pushes Athena down the stairs, continuing the fight. Athena fatally stabs Crystal with a knife. The combat briefly spills outside before returning to the kitchen. Athena strikes with a vegetable cutter, but Crystal retaliates, delivering a fatal blow. Athena succumbs, ending the intense confrontation. Defying the odds, Crystal rises from chaos, resilient. Ignoring pain, she devours toast and seals her wound with a blowtorch. Adorned in Athena's attire, she seizes control, grabbing expensive champagne. Outside, she discovers Athena's private jet. Entering, Crystal confronts the crew, revealing her triumph with a gun. Demanding a ride home, she surprises the stewardess. Now an ally, the stewardess prepares snacks and uncorked champagne. Crystal invites her to share the feast, blurring lines of power and camaraderie in the luxurious jet.